Hi, darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my cancers. And this is going to be for the 1st and 2nd of April. It's just for a weekend, okay? The weekend check-in. I will be using my Clarity Tarot deck. And to clarify, I will be using tarot with keywords. So Cancer, this is for you. The Five of Wands, some kind of arguing where love is concerned and maybe tensions where money is concerned too. The Two of Cups, unified love. Or maybe it's a financial partnership. The Seven of Pentacles. Planted something and you're watching it grow. Small steps to improvement. That's what it says about love. The five of swords. Arguing, but no answers are coming. You can walk away from the arguments, okay? Just be careful. And where money is concerned, avoid arguments and enemies. And the moon. High emotions with illusions. You're not seeing something clearly. And if it's about job, you need to use your intuition. The Two of Swords, you got a decision to make or you're unable to make a decision. Some kind of pause. You're thinking on a situation. <clears throat> the Wheel of Fortune. Karmic good luck. The King of Cups. Cancer, that's you. That could be a Pisces also. A Cancer or Scorpio in your environment. An older person, uh, masculine. Or this could be just you feeling kind of romantic and emotionally balanced. And then I got the Seven of Swords. The card says, love, seek compromise, and use diplomacy. And money, it warns about moving forward. Risk is high. The seven of swords I also see as looking over your shoulder, worried. I think of it as your past. You know, you think that the same thing is going to happen again. Um, you're expecting the worst to happen, you know. So let's see the Five of Wands. Conflict. Tension. Where love is concerned. 
judgment. There's some type of rebirth. You need to let go of your ego. Um, there's some type of rebirth. And you're not seeing something clearly. You got some... Something is going on, but you're not seeing it clearly. I don't know what is yet. It, maybe it has something to do with love. Judgment and the moon. Judgment and the moon. Rebirth. Maybe there are certain things you have to do. Maybe there's something you're not seeing clearly where your inner peace, your renewal, you know, renewal of self. You've gone, you've done, you did the work, you know. You looked at yourself. But there's something you're missing. Something you're missing. So let's see. The Two of Cups. The Queen of Cups. That's you, Scorpio. You, Cancer. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> and the Eight of Pentacles. Oh, my goodness. The Queen of Cups. That's you, Cancer. Yes, that's you. Forgive me for that. You're passionately working on something. And you're developing some kind of skill. So the Queen of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. Over the love. So you're building something where unified love is concerned. Now this is past energy here. And the Seven of Pentacles. You got the Page of Swords here. You got some new ideas and you're, you got some kind of curiosity. Also, you could be this, um, snooping or looking, spying on someone. Or they could be spying on you. And I got the magician. You're pretty magical at this um, point here, but you need to start acting, okay? In order to see your opportunities that you have around you. And you will have clarity. Page of Swords and the Magician. But arguing, remember, arguing is not the answer. This is the Five of Swords. It says avoid arguments and enemies. You got the Ten of Cups. There's divine love, but then there's also the mindset of lack that you don't have. Financial loss, lack of faith. Maybe you lost some money. Um, maybe you're not seeing everything clearly. And the Ten of Cups, divine love and harmony. Look around. There's a lot around you. The Ten of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. So stop the arguing, okay? Or walk away from the argument. And the moon. Emotions are high, but you need to listen to your intuition. Something you're missing. A new beginning. Possibilities of a new beginning. And your wishes come true and you will have contentment and satisfaction. The fool and the nine of cups. So there's something with this situation here that you're not seeing clearly. Are you a dreamer? You got a decision to make. Ah. Maybe you're not seeing things clear because of this decision. You have a decision. It's usually a very big decision. But you got to do what you think is right for you. The Six of Cups, 
the decision has something to do with the past and it has to do with money. Someone from the past, some, someone that you're very familiar with, and the Ace of Pentacles, which has to do with new beginnings where maybe a job opportunity or promotion is concerned, okay? Or maybe a new business venture, a financial opportunity. So there's a new beginning somewhere, but this decision has to do with both this somebody from the past and um, finances. The Wheel of Fortune, you're going to find balance again, giving and receiving. I got the Six of Pentacles and I got the Knight of Wands. Um, this is some passionate energy coming towards you. And the card says, now is the time for you to go for it. Be committed to your purpose and vision and do whatever it takes to bring your goals to life because you know that your potential is limitless. Your energy is high right now, but be sure that you're thinking of but be sure that you're thinking before acting so that you don't stumble over your own feet. <clears throat> okay. And I think I showed you guys the cards. Six of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. On top of you also comes the Four of Pentacles and the Hermit. Um, you may be saving or you might have saved some money up. Or it could be that you're holding on to what you do have kind of tight because things may be a little tight. Remember, we're never broke. They're just tight. The Hermit, it says, don't ignore your inner voice. To hear yourself, you may need to unplug and step away from the chaos. Be sure to take time to be alone to do some soul searching. Your answers are within you. The Four of Pentacles and the Hermit. Above, the King of Cups, which signifies Scorpio. I'm sorry, cancel. You know what it is? I just read Scorpio. I read Scorpio just now. So I do apologize for that. I have them a little mixed up today. I'm trying to do them by how they were viewed, how many views they got. So that way, like those who want, it seems like the ones that, okay. So how I'm doing my readings now, This just this reading here is, by views, the highest views first and so forth. So that's why I'm a little confused here. So, Cancer. The Three of Cups on top of the Seven of Swords. You got to seek some kind of compromise and you need to go within yourself. I got the Four, um, the four of Cups here. You feel stagnant. And you're having a hard time focusing on things that once made you happy and fulfilled. Be mindful of possible opportunities. You may be inclined to pass up on events, but may realize later that they would have be they would have led to amazing things. There's some kind of celebration, but something that you need to do some soul searching about, okay? All in all, it's not bad. Just step back. There's something you're missing in whatever situation you're in, okay? Step back and look at the whole thing. There's a possibility of a new of a new beginning for you. Um, and your wishes may come true, but there's something in the past and um, maybe a job that's holding you. Not sure, but that's just what it says here. But you will have financial stability. You'll be giving and receiving. And something passionate is coming in, if it hasn't already. I love you guys. You take care, and I will see you soon. Bye.